He changed comedy. He yeah. really did, because yeah. there was no comedy like that before Kennison came around. He was a different kind of comedy. Mm -hmm. It was like, all of a sudden, comedy was like, you could yell. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ah, ah! Oh, my he God, was, that was, was the biggest. force. He was just like, it, and the preacher's yeah. voice, that thing that he had, a, where he had that charisma of being this yes, tent yes. revival preacher. Yes, yes. And when he would talk quiet, like, oh, well, yeah. and then yeah. all of a sudden blast the and shit then out. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. And he was a legend at the store. You know, when I got to the, the store goes through these eras, right? Yeah. When I got to the store, it was 94. Uh -huh. And the Kinison era had ended, he died. Right. And then there was this big drop off. Like the store was kind of vacant when I got there in '94. It was weird. Like the shows would be half empty. And uh -huh. yeah, yeah, they were having problems for yeah. a bit. Yeah, but they all had these stories. All the guys like Harris, Pete, and the guys that were still around. Yeah, they yeah. all have these stories about when Kinnison was there. He would perform at midnight, uh -huh. and around 11:30, all these rock stars would start showing <laughs> yeah, up, and yeah. movie stars, right? And, yeah, and they would all go there to see Kinnison. Yeah. Yeah. So he had the midnight spot. Fucking cool. And they would all go. And I remember thinking, imagine people yeah. coming to the comedy store just yeah. to see you. That yes. must be so insane. That's fucking cool as fuck. Oh, it was the coolest because it was all just word of mouth. Yeah, man. Everybody, this is like 84-ish. Before oh, he popped, it. everybody just knew about him. I, 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 rock, rock. I, I, rem I remember Chris was in Vegas and I went to see him with Nicholson and Jim Brooks. Wow. And, and we were sitting there, and fucking Nicholson was laughing his ass off. And I had that thought you just had. I was just going, fucking rock is so cool. Right. That people fucking fly an hour, like, where is he? Let me go see him. They sit back and laugh. And I fucking just going, shit, rock, you really are fucking stud. Yeah, the bring the pain days, bigger and yeah. blacker and bring the pain, two of the greatest specials of all Unbelievable. time. Unbelievable. Flawless. Time. Flawless. Yeah, yeah, he's a badass. I talked I talked to Rock yesterday just for like 10 minutes or something and we got really excited about stand up again. I go, "You you writing?" He goes, "I kind of am. I kind of like he can't stop." When he was doing his tour, he's like, "I need a break." Blah blah blah. He just did like a fucking year on the road or some right. shit. And then he's right back to like Got some ideas. Got some yeah, shit. I think that's a good way to do it. Take a little break and just refresh your mind yeah. so you're not running stale. You of know? course. Because he did a live special, too. His live special was fuck. I loved it. Yeah, I and it was also it. like the buildup because of getting slapped by Will Smith and all that crazy right, yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that was like the best thing that ever happened to him because then he became like wild again. Like his stand up was like outrageous. Like it, it was like the rock of old. It, that, that night was like watching a fucking Super Bowl. You were just like, what? What's, 